Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the week of November 12th through the 18th. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, but this is being recorded on November 7th. We're not even at November 12th through the 18th yet. And I'm bringing this up because I've been watching some December readings for my signs, and I've noticed there's some dislikes on those readings. I'm not, I haven't done the Decembers yet, but on other people's, you know. And I'm like, what the hell? It's not even freaking December yet. I mean, what? 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 I mean, <laughs> so, with that said, this is for next week. It could be happening now. But, and then, again, this reading might not even be for you. It might not be yours. This is not a private reading. So, you know, I, I, I feel the need to tell people that don't have the knowledge. I mean, whatever. So, anyway. Um, so, yeah, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to see whatever comes up here. Mm, introspection. You may feel like you need to retreat at this time. You may feel like you need to take a time out, step back. I just, this, something may be a little overwhelming and you're like, ah, time out, time out. You need to think about something. Retreat. Oh yeah. Yep. It's like something may have happened that makes you feel like you need to heal. You may go and be going through a period of healing. Maybe you need to um, make some compromises or bring some balance back to your life. Ooh, yay. So this is you going through some sort of pain to receive a blessing. Going through a rebirth. Evolving. Major, major, major. You're going through a major change right now. And it is, maybe it's an upload. You know, a spiritual awakening of some sort. But, whatever is happening, it's major. And you're probably going to need to be alone during this time. Because you're going through some sort of transformation. And it's a big one. Your life is changing. And it's going to help you to release something from your past. And I know a lot of you Libras don't want to do that. I mean, this is what I do for a living. Something from your past needs to be let go of. And a lot of memories from the past are going to come up this from your childhood perhaps. Or from your past love, whatever. There's memories of the past that need to be dealt with. This is clinging to the past memories when they need to be shed. Not that you need to let go of them. But they're holding you back. Something needs to be dealt with. And you've been reluctant to go in a new direction. And maybe it's time for you to go in that new direction. Maybe you have invested a lot of time and energy into something that is unrealistic. The seven of coins reversed is unrealistic. Expecting something to come to fruition that isn't meant to be. You may feel really dissatisfied with what you're getting. Dissatisfied with what you didn't get. Whatever. You're not. Somebody is not happy with the outcome. And now, you know, you may feel at a complete loss. This is nothing to celebrate. And, I, and that's how you would feel when you're going through a transformation that is uncomfortable. Okay? When big changes are happening, it's uncomfortable. It is. I mean, if you think about pregnancy with this empress... It ain't comfortable to be pregnant. It's not comfortable. You're going through an uncomfortable situation. It's 
Follow your intuition. Your intuition is talking to you. You may be receiving, you may receive a message of emotional support from somebody, somebody younger than you. You have probably been holding on to a dead end situation and it's time for you to wake up and let go of something that is no longer feasible. I'm sorry. I am. And I'm positive I'm going to get a comment below from somebody that says, they're always negative. Well, you know, this is your reading, not mine. Somebody is holding on to an unrealistic expectation. That they're going to be able to manifest something that isn't going to happen. Sorry. So it's time to wake up from this situation. There is an opportunity that is not real. Okay? It's not real. It's not solid. It's not stable. It's not going anywhere. It's not happening. Season. I'm sorry. Um. It's a lost opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles reverse. It's a, look it up for those of you that don't want to hear this, and I know there's going to be several. An opportunity that you thought was going to manifest, this is a kind of manifestation, is not going to manifest. It's unrealistic. And you need to let it go. And stop wasting your time. And go down that new path. That has been presented to you multiple times. You need to take that time out to reflect and really think about what you're doing. You are worth so much. You are the pick of the litter with that Empress card. You are. You are a beautiful soul. And you deserve all the opportunities in the world. You deserve to receive gifts. You deserve to be happy. But you gotta stop betraying yourself. And something needs to end. There's like a death of something here. It's, it's done. It's over. Something is ending. Could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know. You could be receiving a message from this person. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. We have Virgo. We have Sagittarius. We have you and Taurus. But there's an there's a ending here. You may be even receiving some sort of payoff. I don't know what this is. But it's not going to be the new, the message that you want to hear. The Page of Swords brings a message that you do not want to hear. But you are going to have emotional support. It could be about a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're going to need to find strength and confidence to deal with this situation. It's something that you should have been getting prepared for. Maybe you are prepared for it. Maybe you knew this was going to happen sooner or later and you were just waiting for the moment and the time is now. Whew! Oh boy. You know, this shit never ends, does it, Libra? It never ends.
it's a rude awakening and it's it hurts it hurts and you're gonna feel the pain to get to that birth and that's the truth right so the suffering and the uncomfortableness that you have been going through is not over yet it's not and for those of you that cannot hear the truth, feel free to move on to fantasy land. I'm sure you can find a reader that will provide that to you. This is absolutely a rude awakening. There is going, you are going to receive some sort of message about a completion that makes you uncomfortable. And leads you down a path of transformation that you have been not taking. Okay? You've been clinging to some sort of notion that something was going to happen. That you could manifest something. You were holding on. Yeah, I knew you were. You've been holding on to something for way too long and there's gonna the universe is coming in to say huh, time to drop it time to let it go. it's going it's done it's it's done oh yeah it's done drop it drop it I can't make this shit up It's time to drop it, to make that conscious change, and the universe is here to help you. Something is go you're going to receive a, a message that you don't want to hear that moves you in a new direction and allows you to begin a new life, per se. The Empress gives birth to a new life, to start a new life. And you've been refusing to wake up. You've been refusing to release something from the past. No shit. Not accepting the truth. I can't, like I said, I can't make this shit up. And now it's time. The universe says, boom. Boom. Wake up call. This person's not coming back. And it's time for you to come out of this darkness and see the light. Because you deserve the ultimate. You do. With the Empress, you deserve everything. And it's time for you to evolve. There's no growth where you've been. And you haven't been logical. You're only hurting yourself by staying in this situation that you've been staying in. And you've been dealing with somebody that is ruthless. And you are so worthy of more. And it's time for you to be happy, Libra. So you may be brought down to your knees by this message that you receive. But you're going to go through a rebirth and you are going to receive a reward for this pain. And that is the truth. So this week is a week of some sort of receiving a message from the page of swords from somebody a message that you don't want to hear about 
something that you thought you could manifest that you that you thought was never going to happen or it was going to happen. You know, you thought you try it, you were in denial over something. You thought that you could make something happen. And the fact of the matter is, is that it was never stable, solid. It was false the whole time. And now it's breaking down with that tower card. It's done. It's in the right on top of that tower card. I believe we have the Ten of Swords. It's done or underneath it. It's right, right together. The same area. It's over. It's done. Something is total done. Done, done, done. And you are about to get a rude awakening. In regards to something you've been clinging to. And it's going to move you in a new direction. And you may feel the need to retreat when you receive this message. It's not going to make you happy. And that's the way it is. And I ain't going to pretend that it is. And for that woman that doesn't want to hear anything negative. <laughs> go back to La La Land please. I'm sure you can find some companions there. Anyhow, it's a time of healing, and you are going to need to heal from this. And when you get to the point of you know, completion, when you finally healed, you will receive a miracle. But that process needs to be started for real. And that's why the universe tower is here. To push you along. Because you haven't been logical. You haven't been seeing the situation clearly. And it's time to wake up. You're dealing with another individual who is hurting you, okay? It's harmful. It is harmful. It's not good for your heart. It's not good for your soul. It's not good for you. Keep an open mind, okay? Because your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And this is why we have in this reading today. It's because a lot of you have your mind and heart and soul set on one person. And that person's not in the picture. Or they're not doing the, they're, it's nasty. It ain't good. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and ex this says in expectations. This says your soulmate is not who you think it is. That's what this is. So trust. Trust the divine, the universe, the tower. The tower comes to remove things from your life that you are refusing to accept. To bring you to a better place. That's why the tower happens. You can fear it or you can accept it and realize that it's going to give you, a, it's going to bring you a blessing. There's no shit about it, okay? Have faith. Trust that the universe, God, angels, has your highest good in mind. You know, they want what's best for you. You got to believe that. They aren't going to give you the wrong one over and over and over again. Eventually, you deserve the ultimate love. Period. Talk to you next week.